who am I speaking with? Robert Squire. And what team do you ride for? Team Hink Happy. And how'd the race go today? Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a course that I haven't done before. This is one of the first times, this race is one of the first times I ever pinned on a number. So I was really excited when it worked into my schedule. Uh -huh. And it's the classic course of which I'd also never done. And so pretty excited to come out here and do the Snowbird Hill Climb. And, and this, when did you first do this race? First time I did this, I think I was 17, 17 or 16, so eight or nine years ago. Okay. Yeah. And that, that was one of your first races or first road races? One of my first races, period. Okay. Yep. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and and you won both the road race and the ultra, right? Yeah, that's correct. And how did the, tell me how the, the road end of it uh, played out towards the end. I saw you were with Chris McKay. Yeah. Um, going up right before Tanner's Flat, I think that's kind of the place this canyon's famous now for, maybe infamous, for this climb and for Tanner's Flat from Tour of Utah. And so I think everyone was kind of waiting or holding their cards close to their chest before Tanner's. And so I decided where it was steep before, I might as well give a little dig, see if anyone can hang, see what everyone does. And Michaela, the women, women's winner, was still there. Chris was there. Mitchell Peterson was there. So a bunch of my friends. And I was like, all right, we've ridden together enough today. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go, I'm going to see if I can go on my own from here. And then went hard and a couple people tried to follow and McKay ended up coming up to me and then him and I just worked together until the last bit. And and then what happened at the very at the finish? At the finish I just upped the pace a little bit to see where he was at. I mean he had a bridge up to me okay. and so it was definitely on the back foot and I didn't make it that easy for him once he caught up and um, I mean we worked together but I wanted to give him an acceleration to get him at the end. Um, and and then you transitioned onto the mountain bike, and then how how did the uh, the ultra? How did that feel? <laughs> that part, it's never going to be easy ever. And I think anyone who does is lying to you. It was difficult the whole time. It's steep. It's loose. You're in your granny gear the entire whatever it is, 45 to an hour. It's 3,000 feet of vertical. 3,000 feet, and it's steep the whole time. Yeah. And so did you hurt at the end by the end were you hurting yeah well funny enough the last couple switchbacks i think are the easiest and fortunately the climb today was different than the climb okay we're talking again with rob squire um so describe the last part of the of the ultra hill climb the last part of the ultra is like it's as bad as it is good because you know you're almost at the top but you're nearly at ten thousand feet you can't breathe and you have almost two hours of climbing in your legs so it's a welcome relief, but you definitely have to work for it. Um, and and how, how hard was the whole thing from, from, from Sandy to the top of the tram? Definitely one of the longer, harder climbs I've ever done in terms of sheer data. <laughs> yeah. And what, what did your, your, what'd your GPS say? How, how many meters? 1,800 meters. Oh boy, yeah. that's, that's a lot. Yeah, a bit for one climb. So what's, uh, what's up for the rest of the year and, and what do you have on tap for next season? I'm just going to be showing up at these local one events that I like and having fun. Keep <laughs> enjoying riding my bike. This is the best time of year to ride bikes, so I'll probably ride myself into the ground, forget about a training plan, and uh -huh. just enjoy Utah, why it's so good. Great. And, yeah. and, and then what about next season? Are you with Hincapi again next year? You know, I hope so. It's the best team I've ever been. It's the best team I've ever been a part of, and I hope to return. And so, hopefully, we get something ironed out here Great. as soon as possible. Great. Well, well, I hope that works out. And thanks so much. Thanks.